Well, I'm out today on the Blue Revolt. And boy, did I have to drag myself out this morning. And one of the reasons for my lack of motivation is just the fact that I know it's going to be really hard today. And the thing is, it's not just today. It's been really hard all year. It's the middle of July, and as you can see, I'm riding in the dark, basically. It's dark because of the thick cloud cover. And although there's no rain forecast, looking at the cloud, doesn't give you the confidence that you're not going to get wet. And as usual, I'm riding into a wind that's blowing a gale. So it means that you really need to go out and ride your bike. You're not just going out for a little poodle around the countryside in the sunshine. I mean, it's always incredibly easy to get on the bike on a beautiful sunny day and then ride in some lovely parts of the country because it is lovely where I live when the weather's nice and you know in the winter you accept it And then you look forward to the summer for those nice scenic rides on sunny days. You can go a bit further, explore a bit more. One of the problems with the weather is it's quite restricting. And I don't just mean the cold. You know, I don't mind that. I don't even mind the wet. I don't like it when I'm cold and wet. But, you know, you can dress accordingly at one thing and another. But the challenge with the wind is... You know, go out with a tailwind. Come home against the headwind and find that you're just out of energy. So I like to ride into wind. I've mentioned that before and so you kind of think to yourself the night before oh, I'll go to on such and such a route and then you get up in the morning and the wind's changed 180 degrees yesterday the wind was from the east and today it's from the west Another problem is we had so much rain over the winter that the ground is still waterlogged. So we had a bit of rain yesterday. It's quite likely a couple of the lanes that I like to use will be flooded. And all of these factors conspire to make you think, what am I doing it for? I don't have to ride today. The thing is, you do. For a number of reasons. Because if you don't, when the sun does come out and you want to go on a lovely ride, you won't be fit enough. As I mentioned in a previous video, I stopped cycling before because when my racing came to an end I just felt like yeah, but I don't have to go training today and so I didn't and that's the danger if you say oh yeah but I don't have to ride today the weather's horrible I'll go tomorrow and tomorrow never comes and then you get out the habit. And before you know it, five years have gone by. 
And because your bike's been hanging around for five years, it needs some serious maintenance. And then the next thing, your wife says to you, you don't use that bike anymore. You may as well get rid of it. It's taking up space. But you know what? The interesting thing is, if you do go out, you generally enjoy the ride. I mean, there are times where you'd be too cold and wet. Uh, things like that. But in the main, you get on the bike, and you think, yeah, this is quite fun, really. Or well, when you do fight in the wind, and it's been quite a hard ride. You get home and you think, wow, well, there's a good sense of achievement with that. I've said this before. The hard part is getting out the door. Even riding in the rain. I prefer it like yesterday. I go out in the drive. And then it starts raining and it's a bit harder and you don't really notice that much. But going out in the rain is harder. But even then, it's a bit like going swimming on a cold day. When you do finally push yourself to jump in, it takes your breath away. But after a couple of minutes, you go, this is all right, really. And you enjoy it. And here's another top tip. You'll feel a lot more miserable if you don't go out. Because it really does drag you down. Sitting indoors, wishing you were out on the bike. A little rhyme they used to teach us at school. Whether the weather is cold or whether the weather is hot. We must weather the weather, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. And it's true, really. It's a case of accepting it. There's nothing you can do to change it. How am I going to adapt to it? So... How do you find the motivation just to get out the door? And the secret is to set yourself an achievable task. And that will vary from person to person. But, you know, just say to yourself, well, if it's raining that hard, I only have to do five miles today. Or set yourself a route that doesn't take in any hills. Or an area you're very familiar with. One of my favourites is to go up to Ogmore Vale when the weather's bad. And it's a 20 mile round trip, but it's on bike paths the whole way. So I don't have to worry about traffic and whether I can be seen or not. And if I want to stop for a rest, I can stop anywhere I want. And if you set yourself a task of riding five miles, and you ride five miles, job done. Because you've been out on the bike. You've kept, the, you've kept the fitness level, you've kept the motivation, you've kept the habit. But the chances are, what invariably happens is, once you get out, you go, oh, it's not as bad as I thought, I'll do 10 miles. And then at the end of the 10 miles, you think, oh, I could probably go a bit further. But as I said, if you don't, if you only do a little bit that you set yourself the task of, it's fine. What's important is just getting yourself out there. 
I didn't really want to go out this morning. But I pushed myself. And I've done 17 miles. And I'm enjoying the ride. And the other one I've spoken about before is Happy Wheeling. That's where you just ride. You don't set yourself any targets. You don't try and achieve any PRs on Strava. You just pedal the bike. And my wife often says that to me when I say, oh, I'm not really feeling it today. And she says, just happy wheel. We used to say, have a rest day, but she knows I won't do that. So. Happy wheeling is the next best. Well, get yourself out there. Get on the bike. Because you'll enjoy it once you get going. <laughs>